Shooting film is great fun. Whether you've never shot film before or have decided to dig out your old camera, here's a quick video to show you how to load and unload a 35mm film safely. Film photography is increasing in popularity and there are loads of different films to choose from. Here at Ilford Photo we make a variety of black and white films, so have fun experimenting. HP5 and FP4 are most popular and a great choice for beginners and professionals alike. When you've chosen your film, check the carton to confirm the film speed or ISO number and also the expiry date. Our film cartons have development times printed inside to help should you choose to process the film yourself. When you remove the film from the tub, you'll see a bit of film that is stuck out of the cassette body. This is called the film leader. The black and silver design above the barcode is the DX coding. We will demonstrate how to load film on a cross section of cameras, both manual and automatic. On many cameras, the back will open when you pull upon the film rewind lever, like on this Zenit. Never force the back of the camera open. Your user guide should give instructions. If you don't have one, try Google, as they can often be found online. On the Nikon, the back didn't spring open, as there is also a lock on the bottom of the camera. Place your cassette in the film chamber on the left hand side. Push the rewind knob back down to secure the film in the chamber. Take the film leader across the film guide and feed into the take up spool. Advance the film using the film advance lever until the sprocket holes are engaged with the sprocket teeth. Now close the back of the camera. Fold out the rewind crank and rotate gently in the direction of the arrow until you feel a slight resistance. Then fold the crank back in. The first few frames of the film have been exposed during loading, so dispose of these by pressing the shutter release button and advancing the film until the counter shows one. Check that the rewind knob is rotating. If not, you'll need to reload the film. On some cameras you'll need to manually set the film speed. I'm using HP5 which is rated at 400. Loading this Canon is a much simpler process. The metal pins in the film chamber show that the camera has DX code reading capability. It will therefore set the film speed automatically for you. If you ensure that the film leader lines up correctly, then when you close the back it will automatically wind on and tension the film ready for use. You'll notice that the camera has read the DX code and selected the correct film speed. You're now ready to go and shoot your film. An automatic camera will rewind itself once you've taken your last shot. The frame window will usually tell you how many shots you've taken, however don't worry if it's not exactly the 24 or 36 shots you expect, you quite often get a couple of extras. On a manual camera, the film advance lever won't move once you've taken your last shot, so you need to rewind the film. There's usually a film release button. On this Zenit you need to keep this pressed down whilst rewinding. Keep winding until you feel the tension give a little. This will be when the take-up spool releases the film. Keep winding a little further to ensure the film is fully back inside the cassette before opening the camera. As you can see, the film has been wound completely back inside the cassette and the film leader can no longer be seen. The cassette also has a black velvet edge which keeps it light tight. Of course, your camera may vary slightly. Like this Nikon, the film release button is on the base of the camera. If you're unsure where this is on your camera, then check your user guide. 
Never try to force the rewind lever as this could either snap the film or damage the camera. Black and white film processing services are available from our network of distributors and dealers and professional laboratories around the world. Alternatively, you can send your black and white films to us here at Ilford Lab Direct, which offers a great process and print service. We hope you found this video useful. For further information, visit our website.